Dr. Mohan Rajan, as we all know, has uh, this neck of reaching your heart. So, Thank you, Rupal, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my voice has become his mistress's voice, <laughs> from his master's voice. Sorry about it, but uh, uh, let me thank the IRSA for the wonderful opportunity. So, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you about uh, the nucleus management in FACO emulsification. These are my financial interests. As you know, when you have a soft cataract, then you do a surgery like this. That's called the spring surgery. You use uh, low FACO power, low vacuum, low aspiration flow rate, and make a shallow white trench. That is called the sequential pulse removal of the inner nuclear girdle. This is a technique which has been described by Paul Koch. And you can see here how the, uh, the cataract starts folding up because it is a soft nucleus. And that is one of the important things you should understand. And you can get away with very, very less FACO power, less FACO energy in these soft cataracts. A little more softer cataracts, you can do what is called chip and flip as well. Or you can do a slightly larger excess and flip the whole cataract or the whole nucleus into the anterior chamber and phaco it. And this is a way a spring surgery which can be done for the soft cataracts. The only thing is you need to make a shallow trench and a six o'clock nucleotomy and then rotate it. So you can do a good hydro delineation, hydro dissection as Dr. K. K. Mehta was mentioning in this. <clears throat> Little harder cataract then you can do what is called divide and conquer. Uh, this is how we learn the FACO wherein we do four quadrants, something like a Maltese cross and you use low, uh, high FACO power, moderate to high FACO power depending on the density of the cataract and make the trench almost since you do, uh, till you see a good red glow and that is I think one of the most important things to understand in this divide and conquer. Once you have have a uniform red glow at the bottom, then you can go ahead and do the uh, uh, cracking of the nucleus into four quadrants. That's why it's called divide and conquer, and four quadrants. And then you can use this high uh, aspiration flow rate to increase the fallibility, high vacuum to increase the holdability of the nucleus. And you can get away with this. But the only thing is, in the harder cataracts than this, Divide and conquer takes a lot of time and also uh, you can consume a lot of FACO energy which can be detrimental to the corneal endothelium. Little harder cataract, then we can do what is called stop and chop. What is a stop and chop? You make a deep trench in the center and then chop each half, crack the cataract into two halves. And as I told you, when you do a trench, use high FACO power. When you do a chopping, you use low, low FACO power. You can go into the regular pulse or the hyper pulse depending on whatever machine you are having. Now all the machines are coming with the micro pulse or hyper pulse. So which is a part of the cold FACO technology. And once you chop the each half, you need to use a chopper for this. The chopper can be a blunt chopper, it can be a sharp chopper, doesn't make a difference. Little more, this thing, this is called the uh, stop and chop, which is very, very reproducible in all grades of cataract, whether you want to do it. Only thing is the deep trench in the center, little harder cataract. You need to make a, a little larger, or I'm sorry, a deeper trench and, uh, and then crack the nucleus. And make sure that when you crack the nucleus, you see the posterior capsule through and through. We don't want any uh, attachments there because these are sometimes leathery attachments, especially in a grade three, grade four cataracts. So this can be a problem in these uh, patients and uh, in these eyes. And you can see how I'm chopping each half into smaller pieces and then using the pulse or the hyper pulse and automatically the, uh, the, uh, the nucleus comes into the thing. <coughs> this is the nucleus cracking in stop stop. Little uh, harder cataracts, higher myopes or uh, not harder cataracts, a little softer cataracts. You can make a little larger excess and bring the cataract up 
and do what is called tangential chop tangential chop is a chop wherein you come from the equator the, the, the nucleus comes like that the, the salutes up and then you can chop it up this you can do in higher myopes and always make sure that you have a good viscoelastic viscoelastic cushion viscoat before you do this is not try it in very hard cataracts because you can end up in a very bad endothelium or cornea the next day <clears throat> again you can see the tangential chop what i'm trying to do is little larger rexes 5.756 mm then prolapse the cataract so this is a very high myope patient so a grade 2 nucleus only so i was able to chop the cataract into smaller pieces as well and you can see how i am trying to uh, uh, using very less fake power once you go into the micropulse hyperpulse the on and off time is there and you can modulate you can work around and can play around with these parameters and with the stellaris thing this is a horizontal chop the horizontal chop you can again do it for grade two grade three cataracts good cortical cushion you go underneath the rexes and come from the equator you need to use a blunt chopper don't use a sharp chopper because you can you can damage the zonules can damage the posterior capsule as well so what is important is to bury the phaco hand piece in all the chopping techniques you need to go a little vertical down and how i'm going underneath the rexes and coming from the periphery so that is from the equator this is called the horizontal chop which you can still do in many of these cataracts only in brown cataracts is a problem in the horizontal chop is that you need a good cortical cushion in brown cataracts what happens is there's nucleus and more nucleus and very less cortex and that is one of the reasons why we cannot do this in super hard cataracts we combine the technology i developed a chopper and I don't have any financial interest is a sharp chopper and it's available the pasami it's about 1.5 1.75 mm 2 mm it's available in three sizes you can see here what i'm trying to do is straight away make a small trench there and all throughout this thing i use the same parameters you can see how, how the how the sharp chopper works what is important is to have the bevel down the bevel down and go straight in vertical chop what happens is you do chop under un, unlike the horizontal chopping you chop right and in front of the rexes and a direct visualization keep the chopper straight and also directed towards the optic nerve and you create a vacuum seal and in aspiration flow rate there is a peristaltic mission you will hear the sound when you reach the preset vacuum in a in a venturi system there is no this thing there is no aspiration flow rate or the vacuum seal can be produced very quickly in the venturi system which is a stellaris pc which is missing any machine you can use for that matter you can see how i am trying to go down you can go bevel down bevel sideways bevel up whatever you are comfortable with and this is a vertical chop you can see here i am doing a micro incisional cataract surgery again the chop is the first chop is very important and that is the reason why you should use a sharp chopper if you use a sharp chopper then you can see the posterior capsule through and through and that is then then you go on attack each of these halves and go and see actually you can close your eyes and operate and these are the parameter only things the patient should not close his eyes that is important okay you can close your eyes and operate because everything is on the very beautiful automatic mode like a driving a ferrari and it's just so safe actually driving faster car is safer than driving slower cars so again you can see your how i'm doing please tell me the what's the time limit no time limit 10 minutes how many minutes are there over i'm sorry so you finish fast i'm sorry i'll finish it off uh, so there is a vertical chop which i wanted to mention and uh, uh, this is a femtofaco again you can manage the nucleus with the femtofaco as well Thank you very much for the wonderful opportunity. Thank you, the IARC. Thank you.